channel. I look like a fucking crazy person today. I think I need to go in and add something to the bottom of my lash or my lash line because um, I look like a crazy person, which kind of goes with my with my shirt because I got this in the mail today and I was like, yes, it's a model for the day. Anyways, welcome to my channel. We are doing empties for the month of February. I have my thing of empty, so let's just jump in and get started in no particular order. I have a trash bag. Um, uh, this is dry shampoo from Primark for brunettes and dark hair. There's still some in there. It's trash. Not a fan. Happy to throw that away. I actually have another one. I don't know. I'm probably going to like find a donation bin or something and throw that in there. Trash. Um, I'll just buy Batiste, honestly. Like Batiste is the best. And I'll buy that. That is a cappuccino. I made a cappuccino and my fancy coffee and maker machine thing. Mmm. That is good. Um, this, oh, I did this yesterday. Um, I got this from Yes Style. This is Secret Key. It smells real good. There's still so much juice in there. This is the Secret Key Starting Treatment Essential Sheet Mask Rose Edition. I got this for like 99 cents off of Yes Style. I bought three of them. I am glad I did because you know, like some she masks you use and you're like, oh yeah, that was a nice, pleasant experience. Probably didn't do anything for my face. I feel like this was um, actually doing something. Uh, this goes over here because it's from a nightmare pan. Um, this fucking, I've only used this a couple of times. This, it's like a flocked sponge. I went to go clean it and it did that number on me. Oh, well, wash your brushes. Shit like that happens. Um, a dermaplane thing. I use, I use it to do my own eyebrows. Yay. Go me, right? Um, a sponge gel. We love sponge gels here. I actually used this one up and then I used it with some uh, body wash that I have still have in my shower. I love sponge gels. I'm actually starting to run out, which is kind of uh, interesting because there are some things that I brought over here where I was like, oh, I'm not going to run out of this for a long time. And then I'm at that point. I really need to fix under my eyes. I think I'm going to do that right now. Yeah. Okay. So I added some pink ColourPop cream gel liner and Insomniac. And it's a little better. Kind of a little overboard today, but um, it's after carnival. So um, my whole weekend was a little overboard as far as makeup. I'm not complaining. Um, a candle. I burn. I've been going through a lot of candles. This one was what? Smells like cookies. Um, candle, cookies and cream. So you would buy again. It was like three or four euro. I think we bought it. I think we bought it at Corte Inglés. Fancy in Pamplona. Um, oh, I did my nails. These are Color Street. Um, it is an MLM, but. Um, I'm not a huge fan of MLMs, but I am a huge fan of my friends. So um, I buy some, I buy these off of my friend and um, I like these. Uh, my nails look like shit now, but it's been over a week. And um, I like these little sticker nail things. I think they're fun. I have a bunch more. And when I start running out, I'll probably buy some more from her because I think they're fun. I mean, you can get them at Ulta if you don't want to support an MLM, uh, but I support my friends. So you know, there's that. Um, oh, I used a little one off. There's a lot of perfume samples in here because I got through a lot of perfume this month. Um, I used a little one off thing of La Vie Est Belle by, uh, by Lancome. It smells like a lady, not a fan. Would not get again. Uh, I used a bikini bump blaster. Last time I spent 45 minutes in the shower with a razor just doing the girl thing um I have a bunch more of these and yeah this this works I had no problem so I am very happy to have this back and I look like a teacher because I'm getting ready to teach in two hours um citrus scent ingrown hair and bikini bump eliminator yeah cool 
Um, oh, I finished up um, a little Mario Badescu vitamin C serum. Um, I have a couple of these. I love them. When I'm done with the little ones, I will probably get a big one. I've been using this on my scar um, and has been fading my scar. I really think it has. I use it maybe like two or three times a week. I just drop it on and rub it in. And it's been fading my scar um, better than anything that the doctor told me to use, like scar, like I used it for a while, but I'm like seven months out of my surgery now. So I have this, this little tiny baby. What is this? Like 0.14 fluid ounces, four milliliters. This will last like a couple months, if not longer, if you don't use it every night. So big fan. Um, we'll definitely buy a full size one of this. Big fan. Something I wasn't a big fan of. Uh, the, this Clinique Moisture Shirt, March Jar Shirt, Moisture, mo Moisture, Moisture Surge, Sheer Tint Hydrator, Broad Spectrum SPF 50, 25, 25. Um, there's still some in here, but I'm like, I'm done with you. I don't want to deal with you anymore. Um, the Universal Light Medium, it's maybe a shade too dark for me, but like you can make that work. I didn't like it. Like it was, it never really like melded into my face. So like if I were to do this or like itch, there would be like fucking foundation underneath my, my nails. And it was gross. Like, ooh, no. Like right now I'm wearing Juvia's Place stick foundation. And like, if I, I just put it on, like it never really like melted into the skin. And it was gross. Um, something that I'm like, okay, cool. I used it. Yay. Done. This is the Caudalie Vino Pure. I would use this under my makeup as my skincare. Um, I'm glad it's done. I wouldn't buy it again because I'm glad to be back to my origins um, plant description. Um, but this is fine. The skin perfecting serum combination to oily skin. I don't really have, I mean, I have more combination skin than oily skin, um, but I mean, this isn't offensive. You know, I don't regret trying it or anything. It didn't piss me off. Um, but would I try it again? No, no, I, I much prefer my origins. So yay, more trash. I got basil hairs everywhere. Um, no, there's still a tiny bit in there. Oh, well. Uh, this is a body wash that I use as a bubble bath. Yay, I found an even better, cheaper way. Sorry, God, I'm like super itchy. Way to get my bubbles on in the bath. Um, this is just cheap ass body wash. This is like a Euro 35. And it smells like roses, rose, right? And I like it, it's great. I would buy it again. Hooray, yay, moving right along. Oh, I got some words about this thing. Now this is the Frank Body Coconut Coffee Scrub. There were a lot of things that I liked about this, a lot. I liked what it did to my skin. I loved the scent, but I would never use this again because every time I used it, I had to clean my fucking shower. It was disgusting. It's gross. It smells so good, it smells so good. And plus I don't like the bag part of it like I like having a little tub where you just but like it's so this is so messy it's not worth it there are better things on the market like tree hut sugar scrub that just melt away that aren't messy and disgusting so yeah I'm glad I use this I I really did like this but I would never buy it again because no too messy it was gross like I'm still finding like after cleaning my shower like three or four times, like I'm still finding like nasties in my shower. Wow, I really need to fix the bottom of my eyes. My lower lash line is a disaster. I don't care. Um, oh, look at this. I have a couple sponges I got through this month. Sponges, sponges. Uh, this was a pot, this is a pot paw sponge that just is old and needs to go. And this one is like really like. I, this one I could have used longer, but I'm like, no, I just want a pawpaw sponge in the trash. Um, this I liked, this is Chanel, uh, the Hydra Beauty Gel Cream. This was nice. If um, another one of these little tiny five milliliter babies came into my life, I would happily use this. Um, it felt nice going on, smelled good, didn't irritate my skin, hydrated my skin. I liked it. Not upset at this at all. Um, I have a couple of these guys that I need to throw out because I think they're old, which sucks. These are little testers. 
actually I have a bunch more here that I'm just gonna throw away. These are testers from Urban Decay. I love Urban Decay. Um, they're vice lipsticks, but I think they're old because I've opened a couple of them and they stink. So, oh, well, this, so I kept getting hard pan. This is their old color pop, no filter powder. Um, so I, I, I kept hitting pan, like, or not hitting pan, hard pan. I kept hitting, hitting, geez, Stacy, get it together. I kept hitting hard pan on it, um, but I'm going to keep this. Um, just in case I need to repress anything, because it's it's a nice little compact, and I put my sticker on it. Always tired. It's true. I'm always tired. So that went away, but it's kind of staying. Um, my cellar cleansing water. Uh, this is just your plain old Garnier all-in-one sensitive blah blah blah. I would use this. I would keep it here on my desk, and I would use it to wipe off uh, swatches and stuff like that. Or like if I got shit all over my desk, I'd wipe it off. But I'm actually using a new Garnier micellar water with oil in it to remove my makeup and I love it. So yay, micellar water, cheap micellar water. Guys, don't go buy any expensive micellar water. It's just an octopus. Um, this <laughs> was my yearly reminder of why I don't do peel off masks. This is the I do care disco kitten illuminating diamond peel off mask. Um, it was fun. I mean, like it smelled like glue because I think it rolled, but it didn't stop me from doing it because it was fun. Um, and it was glittery. Like it didn't do anything but give me a big old zit over here. It's going away now. Um, but I, my I got old person skin now. I'm getting there, so I don't need to be pulling and tugging at my skin. Um, oh yeah, this was, this is a fucking candle. I think either from Eroski, Carrefour, one of those guys. Um, and it's canela scented. So it's cinnamon scented, but, um, this is very close to pumpkin spice and it burned down real good. If you can see that, like, so yay. And I have another candle in here. So you might as well pop that out. Um, this is something I got at Jeshk, Jeshk. And, uh, I mean, it's fine. Like there was like, there was zero scent throw to it, but it smells nice. It's like fresh. Yay, another candle. Home and beauty. Uh, this is driving me crazy. So I will talk, oh, it's leaking. I will talk about this. I like these things. I know they're super stupid and silly, but um, I, the Grace and Stella, like the gold face masks, I like the way they tingle. I like the under eye ones. Um, so if these were to come into my life, I would happily take those. I'm gonna put it over here because that is for a project pan. And then while we're here, um, strawberry milk one pack. I don't know, it was cool. Why not, right? This is one of those ones where it's like, smells nice. It's relaxing. Sure, sure. Sheet masks, gonna get through them. Um, another Dermaplane thingy for, we're going to be moving soon-ish, so I have a note about this one. Keep me, product dried out. Um, so this is the Elf Putty Primer. Uh, it was white, and these things dry out quick, because I remember this being new, like, just a few months ago, and then I went to go use it, and it was completely dried out. But I am going to keep this, I'm going to keep the little tubby thing, reduce, reuse, because, you know, uh, let's talk about something that sucked, but I got through it. This is cheap eyeshadow or um, eye makeup remover just from like Dia. It sucked. Glad to be done with it. I'm not leaking on anything. Oh, another. Hey, man, I got through a lot of stuff for it being a short month. Um, do, 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 do. Sorry, I got a message. Do, 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 do. Sponge gel, we love sponge gel. So this sucks, but it's okay. This is a Milk Kush Waterproof. This is probably my favorite high-end mascara right now. Um, I had two of them. I opened one and this was dried out and that's the way it is. Um, I, I tried to save it with a few drops of the Duraline, but it's just, it was, it's gross. So I'm using my other one and that's fine, but it happens. 
Um, an autocrat. Oh, here we go. Um, Sunday Riley brightening and depuffing eye contour cream. Sure. Yeah. Glad I have it. Glad I got through it. I'm, yeah, why not? Right. Nothing I can really say about that because it's small. And like, I think you need to use bigger, I think you need to use bigger, like, you need to use, you need to, you need to use it for longer. Um, let's see here. Let's pull out some stuff. Uh, okay, so we have a Pores Be Gone Matte Primer from First Aid Beauty. I like this stuff. This is good. I think I have a few more of these kicking around somewhere. I will certainly get through them. I like this. Um, it has that kind of silicone-y feel where it's not super sticky. And yeah, we'd definitely buy it again. Uh, my Holy Grail, Kate Somerville Exfolicate. I'll pretty much never be without this. I have so many of them, but one day I will run out. Um, and on that day, I will be sad and probably find it on sale for cheap because this this was the thing that kickstarted everything you see now. Like, oh, I can have nice skin after having acne for 20 years. Yay. Um, Trusty, this is a mini matte blur stick. Um, I went to go use this and it dried out and popped out and hit the floor. So that is an indication that it is dead and gone. So it goes in the trash. Oh, let's talk about, let's talk about something that really pisses me off. Like I'm almost ready to write an email to ColourPop. And you guys know, I love ColourPop, right? Like I love color. ColourPop's like one of my favorite brands. These, these fresh kiss glossy lip stains. They smell like fucking asshole. They smell like ass and they're not old. Like how long have these been out? Less than a year, certainly. I think the first ones came out with the cherry collection in June or July. They smell like fucking butt to the point where I'm not using them. They're going in the trash. And like, I bought this last one here. I bought this, like I got it here in Spain. So it's been less than six months that I've had this and I have to throw it away. And I'm not happy about it. Um, I finished a lip silk balm, the Huda Beauty Silk Balm. I love this. It's one of my favorite chapstick or lip balmy things. Have a bunch of these little tiny ones and a full size one that's kicking around somewhere. Very happy about that. Um, oh, I did finish this little Mario Badescu facial spray with aloe, sage, and orange blossom. Yeah, I like it. Uh, I'm going to keep the bottle because I like the sprayer on it. And I'm going to put some other toner in it because I like spraying my toner. Um, this TG Madrid lip cream, um, it's not really the kind of color I like. And uh, it smells like butt. So I thought it was red, but it's like shiny and weird. But I bought it because it's called Madrid. You know. Oh, I got shit on my dress. Um, this sucks. This is Ycon. I just bought this in December. Um, this is Ycon Cosmetics. And I, I went through my lips because I'm doing a project with them this month. And it melted. I mean, like, if I really wanted to save it, I could. But I'm not going to. Like, it's fucked up. And I'm just not, I'm not going to deal with it. So that's going in the trash. This sucks too, but I have enough colors like this. This is the Baby Bat Beauty. This, uh, it's colored gummy bears. Uh, it's real cute. Like, well, yeah, it's really cute. I like it. Um, but it's separated. It smells funny. Like I said, I went through my lip stuff. Um, this is an LA Colors eyeliner pencil. Uh, it's in silver and it sucks. Don't need to have it kicking around. I have plenty of eyeshadow that I can use for my if I need silver eyeliner. Um, I have a couple of other color pop things I'm getting rid of. This is a uh, lippy stick in fab. It smells, getting rid of it. And then this, so this is the, this is like a blush stick and I just don't like it. I don't know, I, should I throw it away? Like it's a nice color, like, I don't know. I just don't, I don't know. I'm gonna throw it away, I'm gonna throw it away. I don't need it. It's in the trash now. No going back. No going back. Um, we have some more of these. 
have a bunch of them. Here, I'll pull the ones out that I haven't used. So I have a bunch of these little tester thingies from Urban Decay. Uh, but I did use a few, which is why I know that they're bad. So I have Gubby, Stark Naked, and Big Bang here. And they're bad. So they're going in the trash, unfortunately. Unfortunately, um, this it's time to part ways with because it started to get gross. This is my e.l.f. Uh, eyebrow palette. If you guys have been watching my videos, my Project Pan videos and stuff, I have a interesting relationship with this, but like it started to get gross and I, I just don't need it anymore. I'm like, I'm trying to reduce kind of thing. Um, I finished a uh, brow fixer, Beauty Bay brow fixer, which is what I currently use. I bought another one. Um, these are great. Just because I have pretty thick brows. So this just adds a little bit of color and puts them in place. Um, yeah. Yay. We're almost done. We're almost done. This is, uh, oh, I liked this. The Origins Original Skin Cleansing Makeup Removing Jelly with Willow Herb. Um, this was like a cleansing balm, but a jelly. And I would buy this again. Liked it. Origins rarely does me wrong. Um, oh, I found one of these brush wipes. So I used that. Um, let's see here. Oh, the mask, the foot mask from last month. Ew, it's all grease ball. Um, yeah, I got in the shower, I got in the bath one night and then came out and like, I got on the, I, I stepped onto the bath mat and like, it was just like wet, gross foot skin. So these work update. And then finally, um, I kind of targeted some little tiny, let's see here, little tiny uh, perfume samples. So Gucci Bloom, I, what I did is I have like a little cup of them and I just, and I was like, okay, that's what I'm using for the next few days. Um, Gucci Bloom is one of my favorites. One of these days, that's so good. I will buy full size one of this. Today is not that day. Uh, the Replica Coffee Break, it's okay. It's a little musty, but it does have those coffee notes. Wouldn't buy a full size. Uh, the Dior Joy, yeah, this smells like old lady. Not a fan, but I used it. The Sol de Janeiro, Cherio, 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 Cherio. Obviously, I love this stuff. Would buy full size. And then finally, the Nest, Sunkissed Hibiscus. Now, I do have like an, a little tiny like roller bottle of this. And I used to love it, but I wasn't really feeling it this time around. I don't know. I liked it. And finally, this goddamn thing, this stress check roll on by this works. It smelled like lavender and I really liked it. Um, I would use it at night. And that little thing took forever to get through, like months, months and months and months and months and months for that little tiny thing. So if you're looking for something that lasts, there you go. So um, thank you for joining me for my for my uh, empties for the month of February. That was fun. Um, yeah, like, subscribe, do all that stuff uh, for my little Podunk channel. And uh, I will see you guys again soon. Bye.